Hey everybody and welcome to my bathroom. My lovely plain white bathroom. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but for the last couple of weeks I've had like really irritated eyes, I guess from being ill and from hay fever, I don't know, but they were kind of like puffy and red and itchy and I thought that wouldn't be a very good idea to go sticking large objects in them while they're already irritated, but now I'm feeling all good. Just, you know, safety first, people. So I've got here a great big brand new really cool pair of sclera lenses to stick into my eyeballs and if you don't know what sclera lenses are they are contact lenses that cover your entire eyeball they create an amazing effect if you want an idea of how very large they are regular contact lenses are about 14 millimeters across large contact lenses like large eye enlarging circle lenses are 16 millimeters so just a slight difference and the size difference is really big these are 22 millimeters <laughs> so yeah they, they really do like they cover the whole like the whites of your eyes as well i've got a couple of videos from the past where i've you know negotiated these things into my eyes uh, i thought this pair looked really cool i had my eye on them for ages I had my eye on them for ages on unique so and i really wanted to see what they look like in person they arrived in these little bottles they're called centurious centurious i guess Centurious. As you can see from the little picture on the front, they're kind of an orangey, reddy, yellowy, lava kind of colour. Nice and weird. When you get sclera lenses, they should come with one of these little storage jars. This is the correct way to store sclera lenses. They, they are really so, so very much larger than a normal contact. Um, how about I show you? I'll give you an example, okay? So if you look here, this is a normal sized 14mm contact lens. This is a 22mm sclera lens. These ones are about to go on the surface of my eyes. I learned from the past that it's better for me to start without any makeup on to get these things in because my eyes tend to protest a lot at negotiating these things in. So for these lenses that I've had my eye on for a while, how about I literally have my eye on them? <laughs> I will of course link below to where I got these from, it's from a place that I really trust and where I get pretty much all my coloured contact lenses from. I know that Halloween is coming up, I know a lot of you go to conventions or do cosplaying and stuff, so the website's a little bit difficult to navigate I find, but usually what I'll do is I'll just type what like colour I'm looking for or something into the search, I'll type like red or orange or just sclera or something into the search and go from there. Well that's how I navigate Unique So anyway. When you get these lenses you should soak them for at least 24 hours in contact lens fluid in the little jar before putting them in. And from the time of opening, from the time of taking them out of their little bottles, they last for six months which is pretty good. These ones are by the brand Colorview. They are a very safe brand of contact lenses. I have seen these ones for sale in pharmacies so they're good quality and very safe. So I'm going to clean off my face and we're going to try and get these lenses in and see what they look like. These big orange demonic lava coloured lenses. I'm excited. This looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. It's, it's really not that complicated. Just comes out like that. And the two halves of this ball thing open up separately. Okay, let's try and get these bad boys into my eyeballs. And it's also like hanging out in the basin, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna let some water run for him for a little minute so he can so he can drink it. I've just taken off my glasses, I don't have good eyesight, um so if this goes out of focus, I won't be able to tell the difference, so sorry if that happens, but hopefully it doesn't. Making sure there are no tears or holes or dirt or anything in it. I'm already encountering one of the problems that I remember having last time, which was getting it stuck on my eyelashes. Uh, I think what I did to remedy that was to pull them up. Oh, 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 it feels so wrong. I don't know how many Seclara insertion tutorials I've looked at on YouTube that are like, oh, it's so easy, just open your eyelids and pop goes in like that. No problem. Ha, 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 ha. I can get contact lenses in and out in the dark on a moving vehicle, but these are a whole different world. These are enormous. You have to like stuff them under your eyelid. I kind of feel like maybe these ones are going to be more comfortable than the ones I've had previously because they're a different... There's a word I cannot currently think of. Base curve. They're a different base curve. Oh, it's in. I think Ooh, it's not quite sitting flat on my eye. Maybe if I blink a few times. I don't know. If, ugh, it's making me shiver all over. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not quite sitting flat. If a normal contact lens did that, I would just pop it out and put it back in again, but this was so difficult to get in. 
See, you can see it lifting. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll try again. I'm really glad these are so, so easy to get out. They're really, they're actually a lot easier to get out than regular contact lenses. You just kind of grab it and out it comes. Actually, I got it in really quickly. But it's not sitting flat on my eye. I actually really, really easily got it in that time. That's the fastest I have ever done it. It ain't sitting flat on my eyeball. It's not. Sorry if this is a little bit gross, but that's what we do here. Okay, so I've just left it in for a few seconds because my camera battery died, yay, uh, to go change that. And it seems to be sitting flatter in my eye now, like the air bubbles have been blinked away. It feels kind of not itchy, but just irritating. But I remember that from last time I put some of these things in and that feeling went away. Sometimes when you wear regular colored lenses for the first time, it does just sort of feel like you've placed a piece of plastic on your eyeball, um, but they become more comfortable after a bit of time. Just gonna soldier on and ignore that feeling and stick the other one in. Thank you for joining me suffering in my bathroom. It is, um, I appreciate your company while I do this. I was watching a lot of shows about genealogy today and I feel like if my ancestors could see me now, would they be proud watching me poking myself in the eye for your entertainment on the internet? I guess they would probably think, what's the internet? Oh, it's in. It's in. <laughs> That's a funny feeling to describe. It just makes your nerves go all over. <laughs> this one does appear to be sitting correctly on my eye. This one still seems to have a bit of a wrinkle in it. That one feels a lot more comfortable so far, and this one's still in that kind of, dear God, what are you doing to yourself mode. People do this all the time. All the time. If they can do it, I can do it. Oh, lordy. I really want to go put some makeup on so I can see what these look like with some, well I guess I'll just do my regular makeup. I would like to do some kind of cool demonic makeup but I don't think I really have the stuff I would need. I'll just see what I can do. Yeah. So, hello, hi, I'm back. I can't really see what I'm doing so if I look a bit weird or if I'm not looking at the camera or something, forgive me, it's just because I'm kind of blind. These are not prescription lenses. If you want to get prescription sclera lenses, they are phenomenally expensive. They're like, I don't know, I think they're like a few hundred dollars a lens. Prescription ones, I've seen them be like $300 per lens, but for these non-prescription, you know, fit pretty much everyone lenses, they are like usually around like say 90 to $100 for the pair, which is much, much, much cheaper. Now that I've had them in for a while, they feel less annoying, considerably less annoying than before. I can still really feel them there though. Obviously because my eyes are not used to wearing giant lenses like this, they're like, what the hell's going on? I can kind of see like the outside of them, but otherwise I can see perfectly clearly. I, I feel like maybe everything's a little bit darker, but uh, at the end of the day, I can see perfectly fine. I mean, apart from the fact that my eyesight's bad, I mean, I can, I can see like I normally would see without my glasses, if that makes sense. Safety, I will tell you that when you wear sclera lenses, you should not wear them for any longer than three to five hours at the absolute maximum because your eyeballs need to breathe and this is very important. Second thing, always, 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 always use contact lens fluid for storing your lenses and cleaning your lenses. Never ever wash them in tap water or store them in tap water. If they get dried out, don't rehydrate them, biff them. And always biff them once they've like reached their best buy date. So like uh, once I've opened these, like I said, they're good for six months. So after six months, you don't use them at all. Safety first, people. I do actually have like a whole video on contact lens safety and how to use them correctly, which I will link below for you as well. It's quite an old video, but the facts remain the same. I would love to have been able to wear these lenses to where got at Treffin or Mariluna or Amphi or one of the big goth festivals that I've been to recently, but just because they're not prescription, I like to be able to see, so. Uh, but they do look completely incredible, don't they? They look so amazing. I like the fact that they're sort of several colors. They're not just one solid color, so they, I guess maybe not from like really close up, but from, you know, talking distance, whatever, they do look quite flamey and demonic. What do you think? When it would be some good, times to wear these obviously apart from just every day going out to the shops and of course halloween is not that far away the time for dressing up spooky and doing spooky activities i think these look very very spooky i would love to answer the door to trick-or-treaters just like looking like i normally do but just big orange demon eyes <laughs> they're getting less and less annoying like while i was putting my makeup on i'm like ah, i just want to get this on quickly i can still really feel them there but they're not that annoying anymore. And I'm super proud of myself for how quickly I got them in this time. Seriously, last time it took me like, 
I don't know if you saw that video, like 20 to 40 minutes to get each one in individually. This time it only took like a few minutes and I guess eventually it gets so easy you can just go done. The last pair of cleansers that I tried on had, you know, those like sort of long cat pupils and they were like rotating which was really annoying but, what, but the reason I wanted these ones is because they're a similar bright orange colour but these ones just have normal round pupils in the centre so even if they move it doesn't matter they're still going to look cool. So these would be perfect for conventions and festivals and cosplays and parties or whatever wherever your imagination takes you and I mean obviously you could take some amazing photographs which is I think what I'm going to do. I might try and get some cool spooky photographs. I've got this beautiful dress oh this beautiful dress i really want to like get some photos of myself wearing because i just love it and i think maybe i can get some kind of spooky look going on with with these and that and mm, i don't know i guess we'll, we'll wait and see won't we right below this video you will see a link to where i got these from they came from unique so that's where i get pretty much all my color contact lenses from Occasionally I'll get them from elsewhere, but I think like, you know, most of the time, like 9 out of 10 times, I buy my contact from Unique, so uh, I've never been disappointed with a pair of lenses that I've got from there. They only sell good quality brands, like ones that I've bought from other places have been like unwearable, like, you know, really, like I said, just feels like a piece of plastic in the eye, and have stayed that way, you know, or like been really, really irritating or kind of sharp or burny. Uh, I've never had any problems with ones from Unique, so. I know there's a lot of places online to buy contact lenses, especially these days, they get easier and easier to get, so I just want to send you somewhere that I trust, somewhere that I get all my lenses from. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel, come hang out, be spooky and weird with us, you know you want to, and as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye.